Hey there. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I am Lynn Huber, and I have a special guest here with me. I have Carla Weathers Bell. Hi, Carla. Hi. How you doing? So this is like a special live, and I know when we're in the middle of the day, and maybe not everybody can be here, but luckily you can come back and watch the replay. But today we're going to talk about... Um, about how our parties, our squee parties, and how to work it as a rep inside the party. Because, you know, I run a party every, I'm going to start doing one every campaign, about in the middle of the campaign. And um, you can invite all of your guests. And so when you have your guests in the party, you want to work with them because the relationship is between you and your guests. And, and Carla's an expert at this. So that's why she's here with us today. So um, if you're here, say hi. Hello. Oh, Priscilla. Hi, Priscilla. How are you? So, um, yeah, so, um, so anyway, welcome, Carla. And in our last party, um, we, uh, well, first off, let me kind of quickly go through how a party works for those that haven't been in it yet. So it's, it's like we, it's kind of like a Facebook party in that we have slides. Um, so we'll have slides saying welcome to the party and please introduce yourself and then we'll have a couple of videos But everybody is on the same post together Nobody is wondering where's post number one or I got a refresh or anything like that We seriously go through the post together and um, everybody is together on the post and so as I'm working it and I'm going through the party um, You're working with your guests and there's an option on the right hand side of your screen is a chat and on the left-hand side, you can see who's in the party. And if you click on their name, you can chat privately with them. And I think Carla makes good use of that. But I want to get from you, Carla, how, how you work the party, how you feel that it really works for you when you're in the party. How do you engage with your guests? Well, I really loved it. And this was my first time using it. And I was a little nervous about it, but it was excellent. I think it's kind of how you have to start when you set them up, though. I really you know, got them excited and told them what to expect. I told them who was hosting and that we would chat as we went through the party. And not everybody is on the same savvy. So <laughs> I tell them that we're going to do whatever chat works. So I had three guests at the last party. One I chatted through Messenger, one I chatted through the Messenger and the party, and one I text because wow. that was how they could figure it out. So I had three <laughs> different platforms for three different guests. But what I did is I just kept making sure they were following along. They had questions. I would text them and tell them what we were doing in that segment, you know, just to make sure they weren't getting lost. And while I was doing that privately, I still was doing in the main chat so that they could see as we were going along how to participate. And I noticed that as I started in the general chat, they also did too. Like when mm -hmm. you would ask questions, you know, and that kept them engaged. Right. You set the pace in the chat. So I will say, hey, introduce yourself. And a lot of people are afraid to be the first one to talk. But if they see you doing it, then they will. And I agree. And the I more agree. they change, the more they learn from each other. Because when somebody comes in and says, oh, I love that product because blah, blah, blah. Then somebody else who's a guest in the party sees that and they go, oh, wow. And maybe they might even be asking you, so have you tried this product or whatever? And you can you can chat with them. I agree. And see, it's just like if they came to your house, because that's kind of like our virtual living room. So if they come to our house, we want to make them feel special. So you'll say like if it was at home, we'd say, try these brownies. They're really good. Right. <laughs> so when we demonstrated a product, I say, oh, I love this. And this is why I love it and why in the general chat and in the private chat so that they could begin to start thinking about that product as it would relate to them and not just something they saw on the screen. Right. That was real important. The other thing that I did is um, I let them know that there were no dumb questions. Mm -hmm. So if they didn't want to ask a question in the general chat, they could shoot me an email right in the party um, so that we could answer it right then. And I think you got a couple of people that asked, like one person was asking about what our fragrances were like, and we could answer that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, and there's that's one of the good things about having other reps there too, is that you know we all have different experiences, so some of us can answer better than others, or have you know more from the heart because we tried it, you know. Yeah, it, so it felt good, you, like a team too. I didn't feel like I was there by myself, so right. if I didn't know the answer, I felt like somebody else would step up, and I think that's important. Right. I'm right. a new rep, that's so. <laughs> That's why yeah. we do it as a team, though, because we're all there. We do well for two reasons why we do it as a team. Number one is um, 
a party is boring if you only have two people in it, right? So we want to have 12 to 15 to 18 people. We probably don't want hundreds, but but your, your customers, my guests, aren't going to be totally impressed if I only have two guests there and me. They're like, wow, you know. But if I do it as a team, then we have more people there. We have more interaction and more yeah. fun. But also, we're there supporting you. We're helping you grow your business. You just have to get people there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how did you um, – you kind of mentioned it a little bit already, but tell me the process you went through to get people to come to the party. So I sent everybody an email, a personalized email. So it wasn't like the hundred texts that go out. It was, hi, so-and-so. I'm really excited. I'm joining my team for a party. I'd love to see you come. Can you RSVP? And let me know once you have. So that if I hadn't heard from them, I went back to them and said, did you know that you could RSVP and we could go back to the party later? That's a feature that I really like because yeah. if they can't make it, then we can still go back within the 24 hours and still have a party. Mm -hmm. So that was how I was able to get it. And then once we um, knew that they were RSVP, I, I text them an hour before and then I text them 15 minutes before to see if they were having any techno difficulties. Awesome. Let's say I can opt in to get a text from me that a reminder that the party started. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so that's great. And um, after the party, you worked, you followed up again with them. You helped them to do their order, right? Right. So what I did, I had the three guests. And the first thing that I did was check to see who was available right after the party. And if they were available, I checked to make sure they had done their favorites. And if they had gotten their email and I said, I'll give you a call right back. So I talked to them right after the party. We went through their favorites and I said, were there anything that you wanted to order? They said, yes. I said, let's do it now. Uh -huh. And so we just put it in. One lady wasn't able to do it that same day. So we did it first thing the next morning. What was so interesting about the party is the three people that were coming were three people that had said they weren't going to order before. <laughs> and having seen the party and the products and the excitement of everybody else, each one posted an order. How awesome is that? I thought that was pretty great. This was a great party for you. One of the great features about um, about these squee parties is that they have the ability to tag um, the images as, as favorites. So they can just tag them, and then we get to a post where it's a shopping post, and there's two little tabs on that post where they can see all their favorites, and they can see all of the products that were in the party. And the cool thing is, is that I, as a um, host of the party, I can also see their favorites. And so I send that if you're a rep and you have invited people and if they told me you were the one that brought them, I will send, I will email that list of favorites to you as the rep so that you can follow up with your customers. And, and that helps you start that conversation about the products because they've already identified something they were excited. And if you get to them right after the party, the excitement is still there. Yeah. And that's where you can kind of get them to buy into at least trying it. Yeah. Well, um, let's see. What else? I, I am just really impressed with you, Carla. I, I love the way you worked in the party. I'm excited to keep working with you in more parties. And, and for all of you out there, you don't need to have 30 people there. You know, two or three guests, like Carla said, they kept her pretty busy because she was kind of chatting with them in different avenues. But you just want to give, even if you only have one guest there, the cool thing is you can have one guest in a party that's exciting because there are 13 or 15 or 20 people in there. Right. And you can still work one on one with that guest. And I think that's a valuable tool. We had another comment, too, with a lady that said now that she's seen the squee party, she's willing to host one now. Yeah. You know, she's willing to invite some friends to come back because she knows what to expect. And, you know, most of us think about a party, we go, oh, got to clean up, got to do this, got to do that. Well, it's no clean, you know, nobody has to host, it's virtual. Yeah. The yeah. other nice comment that I got is they didn't have to dress up. They could watch the party in their pajamas. That's right. You don't have to have anything on you don't want to. <laughs> well, <laughs> as long as I don't see them. <laughs> but nobody can see them, so that's the thing, right. you know. Right. And you could be eating, you could be doing whatever you want. You can have your baby there and the baby can be screaming. It's not going to bother anybody because right. nobody else is going to see it. Right. Awesome. So I, that's really, um, that wasn't even very long, but that's really all I have. Do you have anything you want to add? Well, what I did, I wrote a couple of notes. One of the things that um, 
that you mentioned that we did follow up is as soon as we finished and we were giving the closing remarks, I emailed everybody my link to my, my online store. Yeah. So that if they had their favorites and they weren't able to get to me right away, they could go right in to link into the store. And I think that's important because the party is for online sales. And right. so if I think that's important. With the chat function, you can send it to them in the chat too, in the private right. chat, not in Correct. the public chat. That's what I did. I sent it to them in the private chat. Right. Because we don't want any links in the public chat. Not not for you, but for everybody else who's watching this. We don't want your links in the public chat because not everybody in that party is your guest. So in the private chat is perfect or email or text or however you're you're talking to them. You definitely, I mean, that's like a must. You must give them your web address. That's why they're there. And I thank them for their time. You know, it was a little, you know, it was a little um, apprehensive for some of the guests because they weren't used to the platform. But I thank them for just kind of going through with, with it. And now I think that they'll be willing to look at the next parties that we host. Well, I think a lot of people are scared from the unknown if they haven't been to one. Um, I know Priscilla's on here and she's done parties through Squee. So I know she's familiar with it. But the, even the reps, a lot of our reps are afraid because they've never done it. And the cool, the, the most cool thing about it is nobody's going to see you. You don't have to be on. You don't have to be performing. All you're going to be doing is chatting with your guests while we're going through the slides. Right, right. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. Well, hey, thank you, Carla, for being here with me today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Awesome. Well, and then we will be looking for all of you guys at our next party. So don't miss it. Anyway, thank you guys. Have a great day.